recording. Those that are taking part in today's service, we are inviting you to use the mic to my left. Um, uh, and those that are taking part, we are asking that you properly attire yourself to take part. Alright? So, at this time, I'm going to be inviting Deaconess Sonia Reed. She will be our moderator for today and she will be leading today's proceedings. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, church. I'm your moderator for the day, and we begin with the first lesson.
From Revelation 21, 1 to 7, by Fiona Forrester, who's a person. Please come forward. Is Miss Forrester here?
I'll do this by myself, please. The things that I love. Yes. And I hold it dear to my heart. They are borrowed. They're not mine at all. Jesus only let me use them to brighten my life. So remind me, remind me.
so sorry to know that we lost him at this time. That is it so far. Thank you, Miss Cameron. This time we have been offering, we've been collecting the offering. And we've been having the auto to carry him. There's a line for you on the river. Let us push the car.
the Free New Testament Church of God sympathizes and gives our condolences to the family. And we continue to pray the strength of the family. We are going to go into the word of the Lord today. The word of the Lord comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 1. It reads, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Can I read it again? Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. The word of the Lord to us today. Father, we give you thanks. And as the word of the Lord is about to be proclaimed to your people, we pray that hearts will be transformed, souls will be delivered, and O oh God Almighty, the family will be encouraged. Lord God Almighty, we pray for your divine presence to be felt among us today. Lord God, we pray that, O oh God Almighty, you will have your way, Almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing wind. And it's close enough that it's ever me. I can almost hear the trumpet.
my brothers and sisters, don't take it for granted that we just exist like that. My brothers and sisters, why we are living in this world, people need to understand that we serve a true and living God. Lord God Almighty, the church gets silent for me. We need to understand that we serve a true and living God. Oh God Almighty, we are living in a world that people don't want to hear about God anymore. Am I lying, church? Oh God Almighty, we are living in a world that people don't business with church anymore. They don't have a reference to church anymore. God are the gift. When oh God Almighty, you pass in a church and you are silent. No, you pass in a church. My brothers and sisters, battle after battle, all kinds of music. Yeah. See, you know when God rush color, 
Give you pleasure. The car carry you from point A to point B. The food we don't need enough. Vitamins and the nutrients and the energy we work and do all of them someday. Now it is pleasurable. But any pain that is not pleasurable, now no you will see. The power. You gather dust. You pop down. Don't make God say I don't have any use. I have no pleasure in heaven. The expiration day not come yet in the region. We're still there. Lift up your hand. I'll lift your hand and I'll try to see you. You're there. It's a sign that you're still there. And the book can move, you're still there. I'll try to see you. It's an indication you're there. Now when you're there, you can't see you are still there. Yes. Remember now that creator in the days of the youth, when you have life, when you have vigor, when you have vitality, because it's coming a time. There's coming a day, young people, old people, middle years, upper class children. This coming a day. Yes. You know what I realize? I'm parents. I am imploring you know, this is the teacher part of you. No withhold God from your people. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Do not withhold God from your children. You realize what people are dead now? Yes. Yes. You know what's people? I heard about one in self. How can I make it in you? And how all over social media, how can I make it in children? Even this morning, I turned, how can I make it in YouTube? I saw my life, how did that be in our hand? That is the word. We cannot categorize death again as a death of old people. But I love them days they go on. One time, you'll get old and you're dead. Now everybody are dead. Can I say to you, remember God. Young man, young woman, adults, senior citizen, children, remember God. No. Don't wait till when God will have no use for you. But you have to say, I have no pleasure.
go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we're going to be asking persons to desist from moving. We are going to the Lord in prayer. Have some reverence to God, remember me. Lord, we come to you on behalf of this family in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not easy, Almighty God. But God, you know everything. You are the God that never fails. You are the God that sits high, look low, rule in the affairs of men. Right now, in the name of Jesus, comfort each family member here today. Let your arms around them throne, Almighty God. Send your angels now to encamp round about them. Just like your hand covered her cheeks, Almighty God. Cover them underneath your blood. Let the peace that pass it all understanding keep their hearts, Almighty God. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, 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 be with them now. It is not easy. When Lazarus died, God Almighty, you cried, showing that you are touched by the feelings of our infirmities. So even now, God, remember your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, be with them, cover them, sanctify them, give them the strength to go on. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we say amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. We are not through. We're going to ask persons, family. We are going to go up to. When we go up, can we just get this part out of the way, please? When we go back up to the cemetery, we'll be able to view again. Can we? Alright? And just, just get this part out of the way. We want to go up before we go. We know how birds are going to stay after certain hours. The rain starts to come. We don't want the rain. Alright, we don't want people to read to catch us down here another time. Alright? At this time, sister, we're gonna just invite Sister Smith to come to the eulogy. And after the eulogy, we have the recession out here. And that is it for you. Alright? So just stay with us a bit. Just stay with us a bit. Just stay with us a bit. Stay with us. We'll finish it now. Alright? Sister Smith. All right, can we just maintain the order? You have been wonderful so far, Bridget. I really appreciate it. I'm just asking if we could just get some order. Virgin, you have really been excellent and I'm really appreciative of it. All right, can we just wrap up and get out of the way, Sister Smith. Tribute on behalf of Mother Teresa. I am connected, my son and I, by an invisible cord that can be seen by the eye. It's not like the cord that connects us until birth. This cord can be seen by anyone on earth. This cord does its work right from the start. It binds us together, attached to our hearts. I know it is there, though no one can see this invisible cord, which is my key. The strength of this cord is hard to describe. It can't be destroyed, it can't be denied. It's stronger than any cord man can create. 
if it stands the test, can go with any way. Although you are gone, you are not here with us. The card is still there, but no one can touch. It pulls on my heart. I am bruised, I am sore. But this card is my life as never before. I thank God that he connects us this way. A mother and child, death can't take away. Kiss. Counting starts with one, two, three. The alphabet starts with A, B, C. Music starts with Do, Re, Mi. But our friendship, Roger's friendship, my friendship starts with you and me. Roger, your memory is my keepsake, with which I never part. God has you in his keeping, I have you in my heart. Can a woman stand her care? Cease towards the child she bears? Though I may forget will be, yet will I remember thee. A mother's love is something no one can explain. It is made of deep devotion and of sacrifice and pain. Did you know that the realm of providence is large? Is the bucket you bring that is small? So be very careful. You can only get out what you put in. This is not what we were planning. Here was not where we were supposed to meet, but tragically, we have suffered a defeat. I present to you this afternoon the eulogy of one Mr. Roger Marcel Mott, better known to most of us as Boy Boy. Roger's leg is a race of life begun on the 19th day of October 2000 when he made his debut on the team of Miss Carisha Grant and Mr. Marvin Moore at the Sagna Lamar Public General Hospital, Westmoreland. He was the fifth of five sons. Like all team members, he had to be prepared for his leg of the race. So early education, begun at the Tonnet Infant and Primary School, then to the Granger High School, where he was supposed to be a pioneer student of the noble institution, but unfortunately, it did not materialize. He was also a brilliant Sunday School scholar at the Tonnet Baptist Church. Unknown to him that he would be a competitor in a race that consists of hurdles, it would be tedious, nerve-wracking, and quite challenging. He took hold of the battle and thus began his race. They said the road of life is paved with obstacles. Roger met his first major obstacle when he lost his grandfather not long ago. He could also be characterized as being responsible at an early age. This was evident in his quest for survival. He was self-employed, which which he was passionate about. Roger did not obtain a college degree, but he gained mastery in the art of family life. He was also a willing young man. To all of us who knew boy boy, knows he was a very good cook. All of his friends who tasted his cooking can attest to the fact. Whenever Roger visited room, he portrays a pattern of humility. As a matter of fact, he was living in room for a short period of time. He fought the tough economical warfare of life in order to survive. I would say he was a humble young man seldom he speaks. He wasn't the upfront type. He treasured his friends dearly. He knew what it meant to be a loyal friend. Always seek to satisfy the desires of his friends. His hobbies were cooking and riding his bike. 
there is so much good in the worst of us, yet so much bad in the best of us. So who gave us the opportunity to condemn? Roger was no angel. He had the shortcomings just like any one of us sitting here today. Roger was very kind. Sometimes he even wants to give more than he had. His mother, family, and friends can attest to the fact. The reality is that death ends man's opportunity to alter his circumstances. Yes, ma'am. Death is the acceleration of victory. We must expect the best, but be prepared for the worst. Did you know that the family is a haven in the hardest world? I can attest to the fact and that life is fragile and the ought to handle it with prior. It takes a minute to find a special person, an hour to appreciate them, and a day to love them. But it takes an entire lifetime to forget them. If the truth be told, there is a hero that lies in all of us, but some of us don't know what we have until we lose what we got. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Which do you prefer, the wages or the gift? Think on these things. As the Bible says, teeth and tongue must meet. Roger and his mother would argue at times, but that was normal. It wouldn't be long before the relationship rekindled. I was told that he and his father had a son and father relationship. The father knows whenever he called his phone, it was for some good reason, because he wasn't a frequent, frequent caller to that number. A doctor can save your life. A lawyer can defend your life. A soldier can give you a peaceful life but only God can give you a meaningful life. Roger died tragically on March 3rd, 2023. Roger had reached his boundary. Let's hope when our boundary is reached, we will be okay. The clock of time won't but once, and no one knows the minute or the hour when it will stop. Left behind to carry on in their lives are Mother, Carisha, Father, Marville, five sisters, namely Aisha, Amelia, Chloe, Sharika, and Kelis, five brothers, Carla, Stephen, JT, Joanne, and Pixie, Grandmother, Miss Bernice, Grandmother, Miss Vilma, 14, aunts, 13 uncles, grand aunts, grand uncles, and a house of relatives and friends. He is resting from his labor. He will sleep, but not forever. May perpetual light shine on his path. May his soul rest in peace.
honor a time to cast away, a time to embrace, a time that we embrace it, a time to rend and a time to sow. There is a time for everything. We now hope we are gathered here today to commit the remains of our dearly beloved brother Roger. We now commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes. We now commend his body to the Lord. And in the name of Jesus Christ, for the Lord. Yes, sir. 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 Father, yo, yo, Rusty, come in the Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me Joy is ours to share What rejoicing day will be When the saints shall rise Heading for the truth Yonder in the sky Oh, what singing Oh, what shall we
Come, what are you doing?